Welcome back to Minecraft, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be doing a very quick build. Might be starting a series if this goes well. Who really knows? Let me know in the comments if you enjoy the video. But we're going to be doing a very quick video on a quick build. And I'd like to do more in the future. We'll see how it goes. But this is going to be a quick build on a quick uh, horse stable that I actually built in a survival world so let's go ahead and get started alrighty we're gonna start with some dark oak planks we're also gonna need to go to stone slabs so to start is what we're gonna do we're gonna go one two three one two three Four, one, two, one more to the top. Alrighty, so then we're going to go up two, like so. Take our stone slabs and fill in the roof also fill in these first five blocks and we're actually going to do this one more time but we're going to go over just like this and then bring it out this way so this is going to be a two horse stable you can build this you know you can add as many as you want don't know what this chicken's doing all up in my space but uh that's fine whatever chicken you do you Fill in the roof once again, finish this off, and in theory, this is all you need for the, the stable itself, but we're going to take it a little further, we're going to build out here, like so, around the edges, like this, and then we're going to take and go around the bottom level as well with our stone slabs this is all just in the, the basic texture pack alrighty okay so we got our very basic horse stable here alright so we're gonna go we're gonna grab some dark oak dark oak slabs we're gonna take out this entire top level can leave the middle one since that's not really going to matter. And we're going to fill in just the top here with these half slabs. So we're going to leave a gap. Because the horses, you know, they need some breathing room. We're going to leave a gap except for on the corner pieces. So like this. Because you you know the horses you know they need to uh, they need to feel feel the air. And another thing that's uh, definitely not looking too great is this roof. So what we're going to do to pretty that up is we are going to take our stone slabs and go around like this, leaving the one block extra on the outside. Fill it in. So that, you know, that looks much better. It's also very dark. Some torches. Put a torch in the stable itself. And then we are going to take... Um... Gravel? Where's gravel? And we're going to be putting this on the the floor part of the inside of the stable. And we're also going to be using some soul sand. So we're going to rotate soul sand and gravel. Not in any particular order. You want to keep it uh, inconsistent because inconsistency is going to look a little better. 
fill it in at random. Um, So something very basic like that. And that is, uh, that's about the gist of it. Um, however, we are going to make it look a little better on the outside, because right now it does not look, not look terribly great. A meal. some trees down, you know, pretty it up. Trees. Tree. Tree. That's a nice tree. Put one on the back. And then to make it look a little more detailed, we'll add some grass around the outside. Get all those nice flowers in there. And that will just about do it. As you can see in a normal setting, you know, on a survival world, which is how I'm going to base most of my videos, um, you gotta keep it simple. You know, you can't be flying around, adding all kinds of crazy things to uh, to structures. Um, so this is a very basic, basic build here. Uh, so we can even go so far as to find a horse in there. Yeah, so spawn a horse, and you can see that. Oops, that one's. Oop, that is not good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, horse. It is my fault. Hey. Alright. So basically it'll think that, uh, since those are half slabs, it registers them as full blocks. So it can walk out of there on its own, but it's actually not going to walk out of there on its own. Which is a good thing, I, I, I suppose. You know, we don't want our horses running around willy-nilly. So as you can see, I added a few more extra details just to give you some ideas on how you want to take it a little further. I added some uh, posts in to add some contrast to the color itself. I also added a few hay bales here and there. And as you can see here, if a horse, you cannot put two horses inside of the same pen because they can get nudged outside of the pen. This little one actually nudged the black horse out of its pin, which is possible, but as long as you just have one horse in there, you are a okay. But I also added a very rickety path, just threw it together, right, 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 right quick. But you like inconsistency in paths, makes it look a little more rustic. Added these fences along the side with some torches. I also added a little light post here with some hay bales around the outside. Put a little waterway, you know, give horses a place to drink. Because why not? We want like a little water. We can make it uh, make it night time. So here we go. See what it looks like at night. I think it looks rather nice. Maybe a little more lighting here and there. I think the post was a nice touch. But that is going to conclude it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, you know, leave a comment down below. If you'd like to see more quick builds, got lots of ideas, lots of builds. Uh, you know, like I said, try to keep them easy for. For survival mode, getting hay bales can kind of be a pain, but the rest of this is very, very doable, and that's that's what I'm looking for uh, in these videos. So if you enjoyed, please let me know below, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I will catch you next time.